On-the-scene coverage of ACC 13 is supported by Janssen Pharmaceuticals, Incorporated. Red HF, the results are out finally. It's been a long time coming. We've always known that anemia and heart failure was indicative of a less than good outcome, but we've never understood whether or not targeting anemia would improve outcomes. Sometimes we see things that are markers of disease, but other times we identify variables that actually participate in the disease. The results of Red HF say that anemia is just a marker of the disease. Trying to correct the anemia simply did not improve outcomes, and we should probably back away from that strategy and really focus on evidence-based strategies that we know are effective. Anemia is important to assess, and when it's correctable, we should correct it by looking for a cause of the anemia, a separate cause, but to treat it a priori probably is not a good idea. Red HF has been a long time coming in part because there have been questions about the risk of erythropoietin analogs, certainly in other patient cohorts, and there have been a number of heart failure trials, particularly with reduced DF, that have been ongoing and have been going on at the same time as this study. And so it's really been indicative of the more global issue that we face. How do we get a large number of patients quickly in an important clinical trial to resolve our questions and get answers in something less than several years? I think I think we need to sit back and really look at the mechanics of this trial, probably a lot to learn about randomized controlled trials and their conduct.